IRESEN has been created in 2011 under the initiative of the Energy Ministry in order to accompany the national strategy in terms of uh, energy. So um, it has a double role. So as a funding agency, we are funding research projects uh, that in the aim to be implemented in the market. So it's always about applied research, but things that could be industrialized and go into the market afterwards. Uh, those research projects have this um, particularity that they're uh, being built under a consortium of a company and the university in order to really allow this integration. Uh, we are also a research center and within uh, we have research projects, our own research projects. We are also building research platform. Uh, the first one is Green Energy Park that's based in Bengalir in collaboration with OCP Group and University of Mohammed VI. Um, and this platform is dedicated to research and training in the field of solar energy. We are building a new one for uh, uh, buildings and green buildings, energy efficiency and renewable energy integration in building in Bengaluru also. Um, the Africa is not the most, I, I would say, uh, it's not the country that pollutes the most, but it's rather the country that is suffering the most of this, of this pollution and those emissions. Uh, we can see now that there are a lot of inundations of droughts, of uh, very high temperatures and also sanitary issues. Uh, economically, of course, this climate change and this uh, gives a lot of challenges to, to African countries. Today, uh, more and more African countries has their own uh, strategic uh, uh, policies to overcome those problems, either in an energy point of view, but also for water, agriculture. A lot of things is being done. Maybe what could be very interesting is to encourage more and more uh, technology transfer from the north to the south and this is very important as, as those countries, uh, the north countries, the developed countries has reached a kind of maturity in the technologies that have been developed there and it's very important to ensure this technology transfer and it's definitely one of the thematics for COP22 finding ways to ensure this technology transfer and, uh, and also answer those problem problematics in a, in a very sustainable way. Moroccan energy strategy is a very ambitious one and um, we are very proud that, to be part of it. Um, there are two main points, one concerning the renewable energy and then the other one concerning energy efficiency. For renewable energies, uh, we, are, um, uh, we want to have, uh, to ensure, uh, how do we call it, to ensure a share of 42% by 2020 from renewable energies. Noor project is rather a very important project uh, and um, for the Moroccan energy strategy as it's for solar, uh, solar thermal energy, but also photovoltaics. Uh, concerning, and in uh, COP22 we have uh, increased this, uh, this share to 52% by 2030. Concerning uh, energy efficiency, the national strategy has, uh, has put 
put, put a focus, a very important focus on energy, uh, on, uh, energy efficiency because, of course, as we know, the, uh, the most important energy and the cheapest one is the one that we haven't consumed. So it's very important to, uh, to enhance those and it, it was very focused and very uh, spotted in the national strategy. So um, uh, we have also, we have the goal to reduce by 12% the energy consumption, uh, true energy efficiency in all the sectors by 2020. I believe that this decline is a momentous thing and what we do here is really on the long term. It's not something that's just for, for this period. We are really investing in the long term, I think, I, I believe, with renewable energies. So does uh, the price of fuel really affect it? No. I really think that it's more about this independency uh, and achieving some independency with renewable energies is really maybe it's not viable and I think we should calculate this to be very um, very uh, sure of it but maybe it's not viable from an economic point of view but it's really uh, more than important from a uh, strategic point of view and to my point it's, it's the most important thing right, uh, right now. I hope so. <laughs> we are, uh, as a research center, we are uh, trying to do our best to improve technologies uh, to adapt them to the Moroccan conditions and of course um, other national actors are doing their best in order to, sens to have some sensibilization to make uh, all the Moroccan people uh, involved in this in this strategy because uh, it's really important that every citizen feels concerned and uh, as far as it's not really achieved, I think it would be difficult. But as soon as we could do this, have some, uh, have some awareness uh, in the citizen toward renewable energies so that he could invest, and this is very important, uh, we could also implement some policies to maybe help this investment uh, on, a, on a, not for big power plants uh, as it's the case for uh, the ones that are, that are already existing in Morocco, but we really need to, to have this dynamic in each house, uh, not only uh, for renewable energies, but also for energy efficiency and as soon as we could have this dynamic, I'm sure that we could really have a, if it's not all our needs, then at least a very big part of it. So there are two questions. What Morocco would bring to this edition? I would definitely say an African uh, perspective. Uh, I really think that the position of Morocco in the African group and the needs also f uh, are meet with, with the, the African community needs. So uh, they will definitely bring an African uh, voice in the table. Uh, and they will also uh, bring uh, uh, what we what we try to do is to have 
answers and uh, actions rather than just decisions. So this is, as the Minister of Environment al um, always says, uh, it's an action cop, uh, not the decision one. We need to take actions to find mechanisms and real actions by all the, the parties. So I thought the other one. Uh, I would say yes. A lot of will is is put in that, and a lot of work also. I know that all the parties are working very hard to uh, to prepare the COP first, and I know that uh, all of them are really willing to. Uh, to have all their roles and all their heart done in this. And yes, it will meet the expectations. So. Think Tank has a very important role. They have this capacity to have in the same table a lot of experts uh, in different thematics and different fields, and this is very important. Those experts can uh, influence, so to say, uh, the, uh, the, the, not really the decisions, but uh, they can uh, help develop an action plan, uh, find the needs, and uh, like a huge brainstorming that it's really difficult to do if those experts were not here. And they're also a very powerful um, mean to help, for example, in technology transfer. Uh, when we have such number of experts on the same table, we could easily uh, bring uh, yeah, discuss about things we need and do partnerships that could easily uh, help us do this technology transfer. So. I would say energy.